Hey everybody and welcome back. So in keeping with this pantry theme that I've got going on, which was completely inadvertently because I don't think I had that far, um, we're going to do a dessert. Everything you need for this is probably in your pantry. It's called peanut butter balls. It's an old recipe, which we'll talk about in just a minute. So peanut butter balls typically make an appearance um, around here, uh, around Christmas. So we took a couple of decades, literally, <clears throat> off from the peanut butter balls, substituting Buckeyes or something other peanut buttery deliciousness. So a couple of years ago, I asked for peanut butter balls to return to the Christmas dessert cookie repertoire. Um, and I got interested in the recipe. So apparently this recipe comes from one of my mom's home ec cookbooks, right? This was published in 1961. It's from the Alabama Vocational Home Economics Teachers Association. And the name of the recipe is um, honey balls, but we don't call them honey balls. We call them peanut butter balls. And I always thought that this was some big, complicated, took all day thing to do because they're so delicious. Now look at the recipe. There are four ingredients. You're going to need peanut butter. You're going to need some honey. You're going to need some cornflakes. And then the interesting thing that got me to thinking was you need powdered milk. Like who the hell uses powdered milk anymore? So that got me to thinking. I sort of put my food anthropology hat on, thinking like just how damn old is this recipe? Well, if you think about this for just a minute, um, peanut butter and powdered milk were subsidies, food subsidies during the 30s and 40s, um, and really even through the 60s. So food subsidies, you've all heard about government cheese, so you know what I'm talking about. But it was more than just government cheese. It was peanut butter and powdered eggs and powdered milk and that type of thing. Honey would have been sourced easily from the farm down the street. And cornflakes were pretty cheap. So with that, I got to thinking that this recipe probably dates back to at least the 1930s. That would be my guess. Super delicious, super easy, super inexpensive. My bet be would you would have most of these things on hand with maybe the exception of powdered milk. But um, I doubt seriously right now with the supply chain disruptions that there is a huge run on the powdered milk product. Um, so in your next grocery store run, you'll probably be able to find that. So without further ado, let's get started on making peanut butter balls. <music> description but um, I'm only making a half batch the recipe will be for a full batch uh, so we're going to start with our cornflakes do to do to do everything's going to be difficult this morning I can just tell it okay into a ziploc bag we go with the cornflakes And let me get the air out of this. Using your May Miles Rollin' pan or facsimile thereof, we're just gonna give these a really good sort of pound out till something about like that. Okay, we're gonna measure out our honey. Pro tip if you will spray your measuring thing, pardon me, then with some Pam, that honey should fall right on out. We'll do the same. This equal parts honey and peanut butter. I'm going to call it Again, the Pam should help you release on that. Peanut butter and honey. How the hell you go wrong with that? Right? All right, now, we're gonna cream these together.
Now we're going to add our powdered milk. We're going to have peanut butter on top of everything, of course. There you go. So it looks something about like that. And now we're just going to start rolling these into balls. Yeah, I'm thinking about like about that kind of size. Now you're going to take your cornflakes and technically you're supposed to roll them in it and all that kind of stuff. And I'm just going to do a real rough kind of sprinkle and then just dab and go. All right guys, so there you have it. Peanut butter balls, absolutely delicious. You're gonna put these in the refrigerator, get them when you need them, great late night snack sort of thing. Absolutely amazing with a cold glass of milk. Your kids are gonna love it. Mm. I'm telling you what, give this a try, leave a comment, and let me tell you something else guys. Cherish these old cookbooks. There's a lot of great shit in these. We'll see you next time.